What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. All right, everybody, we are here now to cover what I promised you guys, which is the SR artifact tier list for all SRs in the game. Uh, we're gonna be going through each of them one by one uh, while I'm waiting here to log in. Oh, I'm actually logged in finally. I thought I wasn't. Uh, sorry, game will lag, lag a little bit there. Um, so we're gonna be doing every single one of these. We're gonna go over every single one of the artifacts that are available for each of these hunters and which ones are going to be the best for each one as well, just like we did with the SSR one. So if you need to go back and check out the SSR tier list, you guys can go back and check that out anytime, as well as the Sunjin move for strength build and agility build are all available for you guys now on the channel. Now, a couple things I want to talk about real quick before we go on to here. I'm going to do, do one by one. So I'll put the hunter up here and then we'll talk about each of the sets. Uh, if I need to go with further explanation on each one of them, I will actually let you guys know just so everyone is on the same page in regards to what's available. I'm going to turn the volume down because ads pop up sometimes. Um, so in terms of what's available for them. Now, a couple things I want to say right from the get-go. Skeleton versus Berser uh, Berserker versus Executor. Skeleton versus Behemoth uh, accessories. Okay, people. There seems to be a lot of argument over this one, so I'm gonna make this clear. Okay, they're both gonna be S in my opinion. Skeleton is still better in my opinion. Here's the reason why. Okay, most of the battles you're gonna struggle with are going to be boss battles. Take one hit, get yourself to 70%, get 10% more damage for the entire fight. It's it's basic math, guys. I don't know where this is becoming so difficult. So to me, the skeleton uh, accessories are always going to be better than the behemoth ones. But if you're doing smaller packs of enemies, then yes, of course, behemoth is better because you're not you're killing them faster. You're getting that 70% mark way quicker than you would be on a boss, right? So that's just the, that's just the way I want to explain that because it seems to be a contention that a lot of people had with this. So let's start off with Anna Ruiz first. Okay, just if you don't know what Anna Ruiz is, she's a breaker and a poison unit. Now, being a poison unit, she's going to scale specifically off of attack. It's a pretty straightforward build. The only thing that's really viable here for her is going to be either the break set or the attack set as you guys can see here i just have random stuff on her but that's not the proper way to build her because again her skills are all based off of attack and again poison is also based off of attack so she got a couple of break skills you can take advantage of it is okay but her poison to zone is what matters the most and essentially poison is what makes or breaks this character so if you're not using poison on her very much her skill is still defective i hope they fix that uh, but essentially poison deals uh break damage as well as attack damage up to 30% of her attack and can stack up to 10 times every three seconds. You can actually push this to 100% of the uh, poison wave damage to 100% instead. So giving her way, 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 way more damage at A5. So let's go with, with the sets, right? Let's just make this easy for you. So um, dragon set, pretty useless. I mean, I, let's, let's be real, actually it can be used. It's not useless, I shouldn't say that. It's not, it's not useless, but it is pretty bad. Um, in terms of noble set, absolutely useless. Uh, destroyer set, yeah, it's okay. The more the more you cast her ultimate, the faster you you, you proc her poisons. They they do the most amount. Shield set is useless. One hit kill, again can be used. Really don't want to use this one. It's it's almost next to useless, but it's not useless. So I'm gonna leave it there. Breaker skill is pretty damn good. Uh, toughness set can be good for her if you want to set up crit. But really the main set for her is going to be the arm set. Okay, so the arm set is gonna be the one that you want to use the most for this specific unit because of the attack bonus and obviously that will proc more attack for her um and her poison okay so again i'm gonna put behemoth here i'm gonna put uh this here as well but also if you can crit with her uh this is not a bad option as well right so that's not a bad option for you as well this is going to be a little harder to stack though because she's not really crit built so i'm going to put it on b the champion one is actually pretty good for her because you you can stack it much faster with that uh option for if you want to use her like as a support unit more we're tagging in and out with qte that's not a bad option either to raise attack for everybody and then varies i i put this pretty much here so there you guys go that's pr probably the best setup i'd go with um again this is meant for damage i mean you know what quite honestly with her this might be a better option. Let's be real. Like, because you do want to raise that attack, right? And if I go to artifacts and I quickly go here, right? Increase attack by 5% whenever you land a crit. So this is actually going to work a lot better for her poison stack. So I mean, you know what? Maybe I'll put I'll put that as number one. I think that makes more sense actually because it'll stack quicker. She doesn't poison, she doesn't crit enough to give her the B set because it just goes way slower. But I think four times stack should be fairly easy to reach for her in that case okay so there you guys go that would be anna ruiz's uh, setup and uh yeah that's what you want to go with pretty straightforward stuff there guys okay now real quick i cannot reset this so don't ask me to reset this in the comment section because if i reset it this is not my tier list for characters it will make me go all the way back to the beginning of having to re-add these accessories every time so i apologize guys this is going to take a little longer uh because of this part this part really sucks so i'll go ahead and put in all these back in the spots where they go 
and then we'll jump on to the next unit. Okay, it's gonna be a sec here. And here we go. Okay, perfect. Next unit, let's go with Song. Okay, Song is also actually a poison unit based off of attack. Uh, she does have a couple co cool little skills. She's a water unit as well too, which kind of helps. So the, all these water units are actually pretty useful. Here's Song, by the way. Um, so her skills are pretty straightforward. They all scale off attack as well. Again, she does have the poison option, and she has something called Umbral Weapons, where she just kind of drops them on the ground. They kind of like look like little mines, um, and essentially they do they just do damage. Uh, whenever the skill hits, she does obviously have the poison effect here, and you can see this poison's a little different. Deals damage. Equal to 150% of the user's attack every three seconds. So her poison is actually a lot stronger than Anna's, right? And also decreases the target recovery rate by 70%. So pretty damn cool skill there. Uh, again, this poison here deals 50% only though. So keep that in mind. It is a difference compared to the support and the QTE. It is still there though, okay? And then the ultimate here also does Umbral Weapons with the knockdown. Uh, and then here's here's what you see. The damage of the received Umbral Weapons increased by 30% when Song Yi uses the retrieval skill against a poison target. She does create a shield as well. Uh, which is unique for a, a DPS character. She does increase her crit and crit hit rate, so you can build her crit as well too. And the effect of Swift Flight changes uh, increases the amount of Umbral weapons she can throw, and then also increases her attack. And then, of course, she has when she uses Rakasha, re re uh, resets the cooldown on both Swift Flight and Retrieve. So she's a very unique character in the sense that she has a lot going for her kit. So in regards to sets for her, here's what you can technically do. You can technically use this very very uncommon the guardian set destroyer set is okay for her not really not not really that useful even the one hit kill set wouldn't be that useful her basic attack set is okay um breaker set completely useless for her she doesn't break noble set is kind of useless you know what i'm gonna put this one up actually one slot these two here are going to be her best sets okay actually we can probably put this yeah, I'm just trying to think if she has even a very good set. I don't think there's... Like, these are the two OP sets for her. So either attack uh, because everything scales off of it or build her crit because she already has crit and the umbral weapons and all that stuff will obviously benefit off of that, okay? So that's going to be probably her SR set. Uh, pretty good character, guys, to be quite honest. Um, let's put this in C because she can, you know, QTE in and out and give people attack, but not... not not something you want to use uh very not a very good option for her because of her crit abilities you definitely want to give her that accessory uh or and, and again the two options here are going to be these two here and then again if you want to build her a little quicker and you don't want to do all the stacking here not a bad option i still think this is better right here so i think this is probably going to be the best setup for her going forward okay so there you guys go that's for song uh so if you guys are going to build her crit make sure you try to get her what is it a3 i think it was right so if i go back here again uh, it was a A2, A2, right? So you can increase her crit hit rate and crit hit damage by 5%. And of course, getting the shield is really nice. Everything else that comes along with it. So she's a pretty damn good character. Fun to use. I, I, took, I took her equipment off because I was testing her for um, a Behemoth. Or not Behemoth, sorry. Cer Cerberus. Um, and yeah, so she, she was actually a fun unit to use. Not OP in any way, shape, or form, but not a bad unit. Again, you can see her on the tier list if you guys want to. She's all obviously there as well, too, as every other SR is. Okay, so let's go on to the next SR. Again, sorry about this part, guys. This part sucks. I hate this. I wish I had the reset button available. It would make this part a lot faster, but it's okay. We're going to go through it quick. Uh, speaking of going through it quick, let's go ahead and add in the next unit. Uh, who we have next? Huang Suk. Actually, one of my favorite SRs. Uh, what makes this character so damn good is the fact that he just scales off of HP so high and he recovers his maximum HP so often. He's actually a really, really good character. Even though everybody hates him as a person and as a character overall, he does scale off of HP. He does have good breaks. He does have amazing skills. He does have the ability to increase enhance, which increases his max HP by 30%, uh, reducing the scorch shield, Scorching Shield cooldown as well too. Honestly, man, really, really good character. His, his support skill is a stun. 100% stun all, all the time uh, and overall just like in general just has really really good abilities so um, very hard to kill very very hard to kill so creates a shield of course uh, all that jazz that comes around with it here um, overall powerful unit very powerful SR again here's what we're going to build him like okay so um, noble set really good for him noble set is going to be his best set because it scales off of HP plus you can give other people attack and lose your own attack and it won't affect him in any way shape or form right break set's another really good option for him 
He's not the he's not the greatest breaker, but it's still it's still a good option. Uh, useless is going to be the arm set, the toughness set. You really, really don't care about those. Um, Dragon set it can be used, kind of useless though. Destroyer set's not bad for him, but again, not very good. Uh, one hit kill, not very good. And shield set you can definitely use if you uh, have his a three. So I'll put in I'll put in good for them from there. Okay. Um, crits useless. Crits useless. Uh, very good support. I would probably put this even up here. Um, you can use this as well to vary if you want to increase the damage. But again, you know what? That'll probably be C. And again, I'm going to put these two up here. Depending on your circumstances and situation, pick and choose which one's better for you. Losing the, the set. Now with him, remember, it's harder actually. actually you know what? No, this is better for him for sure. The reason why is because he recovers so much damn HP in the shield. So this will definitely be a better set. Um, as a matter of fact, I can probably do this and feel more comfortable with that because he'll just never die. That's the kind of problem. He just doesn't die. So it's crazy. So there you guys go. That's going to be the setup for Hong Sook. Um, and that should take care of that for him. Now let's go ahead and put these back. Actually, you know what? We'll keep them up here, guys. Let's just go to the next character and I'll move them around as, as required. That way it's just less, less work, okay? Joe. Joe, Joe, Joe. Okay, Joe. Joe's a shit character. Um, not a fan of his at all. So let's go with Useless. Let's bring these all the way back here, and I'll show you guys what what's good for him and what's not good for him, okay? So we'll just do it all here for a second. Okay, so he scales off of attack. Pretty straightforward. So attack set's going to be his best set. You can actually build him with toughness as well with some of the crit. Uh, zero break, so break is useless for him. Uh, you can build him with a little bit of the dragon set, kind of useless still. Uh, even one hit kill. <sighs> He does burn, which is kind of nice, but you're not going to spam that. Shield is useless. Destroyer set's not bad for him. Uh, to be honest, toughness set is probably second place here, and armed is first. These two will be useless, and that's useless as well, okay? Now, for the setup here, in regards to what you want to use him as, you're not going to crit that often with him, at least, that I, at least that I noticed, right? If you go to his actual kit, and where is he? Where is Joe, 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 Joe? Where you at, Joe? There you are. Okay, so you can see attack, 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 right? But if you look at his skills, um, everything just is light element, light element, burn. There's a burning target, more damage to burning targets, causes a burn, um, burn, right? Again, just burn, just burn everywhere, essentially. But if you can see here, it's all about uh, increasing MP, uh, reduction of MP, or sorry, uh, loss of MP. That's why Viri doesn't work well for him, because you just lose way too much MP. Uh, but no nothing with crit like zero crit involved. So you definitely aren't going to build them crit in any way, shape, or form. So, I mean, you can't, you, you probably put this one even further down. There we go. Probably probably that setup, if anything. Okay, so there you guys go. Um, definitely don't use Viri because he already absorbs so much MP as it is because of his A3. You'll, you'll probably end up losing a lot more than, than gaining. So, I'll, you know what? I'll even probably put down here. Like that, probably. There you go. Some support for him, okay? So that is Joe's setup right there, and that should take care of that part. Okay, let's move on to Kang. Kang, Kang, Kang. Kang is a fun unit, man. Oh my gosh. Kang. Okay. So, building Kang. Kang is fun. Kang is a lot of fun. Uh, Kang has a lot of good options. Now, a lot of people slept on this guy until I told you guys how good he was and I showed you how good he was. Um, very high attack. Bases everything off attack. Look, it's level one for everything, right? Uh, again, dark element, high attack. Dark element, high attack. Again, high attack. The main thing for him you have to realize is he does bleed damage. One of the only units that does bleed damage uh, and does it really, really well. Uh, so you guys can see all of his attacks are fairly high. Now, if you look at his passive, this is where it gets interesting. Okay, whenever he does dagger toss, tracking, or assault, uh, he does a bleed, right? And the bleed is 0.6% of, of max HP of an opponent for 30 seconds every three seconds increases attack when when attacking a bleed unit up to 15 percent increases the user's attack by five percent when tracking hits a bleeding target applies the damage taken increase which increases the damage on the opponent done by 15 whole percent to sheik's school uh, uh to sheik's uh, skill cooldown decrease by 10 percent and then when sheik uses camouflage on a bleeding target increase that damage of camouflage by 100 percent so overall crazy crazy amounts of damage from this guy including with his bleeds except for the dragon which it doesn't work on right so for him this set is pretty much going to be pretty bang on right so this is what you want to probably use here uh, i would even put this up one more slot here everything else is kind of useless because he doesn't have a break but you can definitely set this up like this and go with that setup there any of these will work now Longer fights, this is going to be the best option. Shorter fights, these two will be the best option. At the end of the day, uh, amazing unit. But these two are the best sets for him, hands down. There's no question about it, okay? So there you go. That is Tashik Kim. Kim, 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 Kim. Okay, Kim. Uh, number one set probably for him is going to be the shield set. Armed is useless. Uh, toughness is useless. I believe he is also a breaker. Let me just go double check. It's been a while since I've used him, but I have used him on my main account. 
or sorry, my free to play account. There, yeah, there he goes. He's a breaker as well too, right? You guys can see here, de defense. He scales off of defense for everything. Impenetrable is kind of nice. Creates a shield. So that's why a shield set's so good is because the shield actually applies to everybody, and it does increase his uh, his ability to use it fairly often. He's probably the best shield unit in the game for sure. Um, overall but I, fi I find general to be a bit better so that setup is fine breaker set is fine as well too for him if you want to use him as a breaker again not as good as general as a breaker but he's still there um everything else here is pretty mediocre i don't think you really need to use anything else now in terms of um accessories useless useless uh, these two will probably fall down a few slots uh even that i'd say is useless the best one for him for sure is going to be this, this accessory here okay that's probably going to be his best accessory. I wouldn't go anything further than that. So there you guys go. That is the setup for Kim. Um, so again, use him as a main support to, to give your units more attack by tagging in and out, putting in your shield. The shield of the Guardian set is really good for him because it increases your damage as well and applies a 30% extra on the shield itself, right? So there's Kim's. He's done. Let's go to another Kim. There you go. I, I hate this unit personally, but anyways, it is what it is. Uh, break is probably the best set for him. Uh, I believe he scales off of HP or defense. It's been a while since I've actually used him. I think it's defense, right? Yeah, defense. Okay. So you guys can see here's a break unit, but it's all light light break except for a couple couple heavy ones. Uh, overall, just a mediocre unit. It's quite sad actually. Um, break effectiveness increased by 20%. Users' defense increased by 6%. Uh, they recover 6% of MP. Just yeah. I mean, quite honestly, just such a mediocre character. So again, nothing really outstanding about him. Um, at the end of the day, you're probably better off just using these two sets. Everything else here kind of adds up. Uh, yeah, yeah, everything else here kind of adds up. He has no shield. Uh, he scales off of defense. You wouldn't want to use Noble for that. So yeah, I'd say probably kind of like this. That's probably going to be his best. But you should, really shouldn't be using him. Quite honestly, like there's some characters that are pretty useless, so don't 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 be using him. All right, so that thing is yeah. Oh, speaking of useless, ah, <sighs> Joey. Okay, so she's a healer. Now, if you look at her setup, real quick, and I, and I feel really bad because I love the character. She is based off of HP. Um, her her attacks are really bad. She does apply increased attack up to members for a certain period of time. It's only three percent though for 15 seconds. Uh, she does increase. MP recovery as well as HP recovery. Uh, she does have right there the MP recovery, right? Uh, overall, guys, just a really, really bad character. It's I don't even know. Honestly, like she's so to me, she's so bad. Like you don't really need healing that much, right? So let's just kind of do this quick. Uh, useless, 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 useless. The only thing that matters for her really is that uh, everything else is pretty useless. Yeah, and that's the only accessory you really want to use for her. Quite honestly, that's it that's 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 her setup right there okay so there you guys go that's joe he right there done um if you guys like her i'm shocked i'll to be honest with you okay uh nam now nam's a good character so Nam, we're gonna go hp uh definitely can put that there if you want breaker is another really good option for her destroy is actually a pretty decent option so that's probably the setup there for her in regards to her dps useless there useless there uh, i would go honestly like this almost there you go kind of like this that would be her setup right there okay now i did a, a full showcase on her so you can always go check that out to see what she's all about if you're curious about her as a character overall okay okay we got a few more to go here guys um park the the shittier park the park that you don't want to go to the park you don't want to visit here he is okay so park beyond chic uh based off of defense honestly pretty good numbers for dps like damage wise He's, he does have high numbers so you guys can see here it's all in the thousands uh 600 there with airborne uh, but again doesn't really bring much to the table like the main thing for him is he has this this little buff called father's determination or father of two uh father of two increases the user's defense by four percent can stack up to 10 times making him hit way harder and tankier uh father's determination uh gives him super armor and increases the user's attack speed by eight percent and also the defense by eight percent activates only one time uh and then here you can see here damage dealt to target with lower hp increases uh the user increases by 15 percent. so again just a lot of a lot of damage coming through for a defensive unit um unfortunately he's just not very good it has the downward strike skill decreases the user's charge time by 30 percent increases the skill range by 30 percent increases the user's damage by 60 percent so i mean he's got a couple nice effects on there uh so really for him being a defensive unit and doing mostly damage sorry guys let me go back um the setups you want to really use for him this is useless uh useless useless i mean technically you can build him a little bit of crit if you want 
it's up to you on that at the end of the day. But uh, he doesn't break, so that's useless as well. Uh, core damage is not bad for him. One hit kill with his ultimate's pretty good. Destroyer, I'd say, is probably his best option. It, this is a hard unit to really, really gauge, guys. Honestly, it really is. Uh, so what I would go kind of like this for his setup, for sure. Yeah, that would make sense right there. He's honestly he's just an oddball of a character. Too bad they don't have a defense set. I think that would really help a lot of these characters out. Okay, so there you guys go. Another one done. Um, let's go with uh, Park. The other Park. They're really good Park. Park Hegion. Okay, so she is one of my favorite characters. Uh, so you can build her a couple of different ways. Um, her best set actually is going to be this one. Let's put Destroyer set here. Uh, and then that's it. That's pretty much how that's going to go. So she's based off of attack. She, If you get her to A5, she gets her ultimate right away. So one hit kill will be your best bet. If you don't have her one hit kill or because of the, sorry, if you don't have her A5, then the arm set is best. So yeah, depending depending where you want to build her, that's probably the best way to go. Now, destroy set's really nice as well too, but it's kind of useless because if you have her A5 especially, it's not that great because you already start off with 100% rage bar, uh, rage bar, <laughs> ultimate bar, um, or power acquisition bar. And then, so this kind of becomes mute in that point, but if you don't have her A5, this is actually really nice because she builds so fast, you'll be able to do the destroy set fairly often. You can build her a little bit of crit if you want, not a bad choice really at the end of the day, but um, not the number one cr choice. And then the artifact of going in and out, I'd probably put this one here. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely going to be her setup. You can also you technically use this, this right here. Um, and then, yeah, this is kind of useless, honestly, kind of pretty useless to be honest. I wouldn't use that at all, but it is a, it is still an option if you want. Again, you know what? No, we're going to put it there. I think that makes more sense. There you guys go. So really, really powerful character. A5, this is number one. Non A5, this is number one, okay? And then this, whatever you, whatever, however you decide you want to play between Skeleton and Executor is up to you, or Berserk, or whatever the hell it's called. Okay, so there you guys go. That's Park completed. Uh, and then we have uh, Song. Uh, Song is, uh, yeah, he's the only SR Fire unit, which is kind of annoying because he's also not very good, which really sucks. But here, let's go through his kit. You guys can see here, he does base off of attack. He's all about just fire damage, pretty much. And he does have the burn option, just kind of like Joe does. Um, increases damage dealt to non-boss monsters by 10%. That kind of is not a bad situation if you do summon him for that. Um, you guys can see here, he does have a stun option as well. And then just do more damage to burning targets. You want to put him on a burn team. Uh, you guys can see here, um, his MP consumption increases by 50%. But the damage he deals to non-boss monsters is 50%. So great for clearing out mobs. That's really what he's there for and he's just based off of attack like that's really what you want to build him as so he's not going to look too different than park uh the only biggest difference is it's probably going to look a little bit more like this i'd say and yeah that right there is how it would probably be set up i even put this as useless for him because he doesn't crit that often maybe even this way maybe like that even there you guys go so that's probably his best setup right there uh, again a couple different options you guys can go with but the best option for sure is arm arm for him uh, and I think that was, is that it guys? I think that was it. Oh no, 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 never mind. So we have Jinho here, who's my favorite breaker in the game, my boy. Okay, so this man here is an interesting one. He, uh, so let's just go, let me just tell you guys something about him real quick, okay? Just, you guys should should be aware. If you haven't ch checked out my showcase, definitely check out my showcase. He scales off a of defense, so he's super, super strong, but he has the strongest breaks in the game by far. Even though it says light guys, Yo, this guy breaks everything. Not only that, but he also increases his own defense. He drops pots all over the place, which gives him, which does recovery uh, based on the, the user's max HP. Uh, he, you can see here, he also does a shield on himself, applies uh, an effect below, which recovers 12% of his HP, which is crazy. So you can build him two different ways. He does scale off of defense, but because his potions scale off of HP, you can actually build him a little bit more hybrid. So you can actually use the HP set here for him, just the two piece at the very least, to give you guys a little more of that HP from the, po the, from the potion. So that's gonna be one of his best sets. Uh, breaker set for sure, you know what, I'll put this down one. Raise, uh, the destroyer set's not a bad option. This is pretty useless for him, this is pretty useless for him. Uh, and then this is not a bad choice either. Uh, that pretty much gives you guys the full options right there. Uh, these two are not gonna be a good choice for him, really. He's not meant to do much damage, although he can. He's not meant to do much damage. He's there mostly for break and he breaks things like nobody's business let me tell you all right guys i think that pretty much covered every single unit right i think we got it all there you guys go this is pain hope you enjoyed the video let me know if you have any comments or questions in there or any suggestions yourselves on some of these characters i've gone ahead and tested all of them on the free to play account and my pay to win account so i've got a good mixture of both and this is how i feel is the most accurate way to look at it all right guys i'll see you guys in the next one take care